Welcome to the Smart City Expo. I'm Chen Chen for Xinhua, live in Ningbo, China's eastern Zhejiang province. Today, I'm bringing to you the oldest and most influential and the highest level events of this kind regarding the smart city development. Alongside me today is Yu Miming, a Ningbo University student and also a volunteer for this year's expo. Good morning, Mimi. Good morning, Chen Chen. Uh, so, what is your favorite smart device? Uh, I think that would definitely be my smartphone because I just can't live without it. And I use a lot of apps to assist my work and study life. Why do you choose to be a volunteer for this expo? Uh, I don't know. I think I'm just interested in such an occasion. I think I just want to be a part of it. Sounds interesting. So, so let's just uh, get started. Uh, the first stop of uh, Cixing, I think it's a it's a clothes manufacturing um, company, and we just uh, we are now just uh, seeing a working machine. Let's see how it actually works. So you see that a roller is going back and forth. Uh, and I just heard from uh, the people here in this stand that one skilled walker can handle eight machines of this kind at the same time. So after about 45 minutes, we can get a sweater like this. And I think what is in my hand is a, a kids one or a women's one. It's his, rather small on me but it looks good and by this machine we can see the exemplifications of this machine and this is a woman's blouse it is quite delicate we can see from the camera and this is a man's sweater this is another blouse for the women what is particularly different of this kind of clothes is it's seamless so it makes the, the the wearing more comfortable and as I said before that one skilled walker can make, can handle eight machines at the same time so it is more efficient and at the same time less costly pretty cool huh so over there I also saw a shoe making machine. This is just a simple soul. But after all these procedures, we got a full stand of the shoes. Men's and women's, kid and adults. After Cixin, now we are at the stand of Pia Automation. I'm Chen Chen for Xinhua, now live at the Smart City Expo. Nice to meet you too. Yeah. So what is your name? Uh, my name is Jeffrey Tang. I'm uh, from Pia Automation. What is what is Pia Automation and okay. what are you doing here? Yeah, uh, Pia Automation is a, a global player and a supplier uh, for the car industry and for consumer and medical industry. Uh, for uh, the manufacturer and we provide an assemb assembly line and uh, automation to uh, these industries and the customers. And uh, so I can give you do some sample for you. That's, that's great. That's okay. great. For example? Yes. Uh, here? Uh, here is the uh, HMI and uh, we call it the controller of this machine. Uh -huh. For example, uh, the function like uh, we can input your name, uh, Mr. Mr. Chen. And here, and we can put fresh start. Yeah, that's the launch press. Yeah, this thing here. And our robot will pick the pin uh -huh. and transfer to the uh, ready station. And our pickup uh, robot will pick the pin and to the next station. And here, we can see the third station there with the later marking. It's uh, print your name on the pin. 
Yeah. And uh, then go to the uh, fifth station. We were camera in the in intelligent the camera to check the paint name. Printing is good or not? If it's good, then turn to the next station. Look here. And then it's good. So the robot will pick the pen and show to you. Yeah. And then download with the pen. Now it's okay. So Mr. Chen. Well, I got, I got my pen, it's on my name, you know, after the procedures of picking up a pen, the laser marking, and also a checking, we see a checking machine, a checking robot over there, and finally, I got my pen. It's C H E A. It's my all oh my name. So thank you very much, yeah. Jeff. Thank you. And very good luck with the okay. with your company, and also enjoy the expo. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. I'm Xinhua reporter live at Ningbo Smart City Expo, the oldest, the most influential, and highest level event of this kind regarding the smart city development. I am now patrolling. After these two companies, I'm now at the Time River Robots. It's not robots, it's robots plus plus. That's what the website tells me. Thank you, buddy. Well, the robots here can do the dangerous work that used to be done by human beings, such as climbing high or even dispose bombs. It can also be used for patrol. Let's take a close look at this. The Gag Series robot is the core product of this company. It can walk and work on the steel wall by magnetic force and negative pressure absorption. And also we have Gag C curved wall climbing robot, which is flexibility flexibly connected by multiple distributed elements through hinge joints, some, with, some of which are active joints and some are passive joints. The robots like I ride patrolling is called patrol robots. Well, I mean, you can definitely know that it's patrol robot. It can play, replace manual to complete routine patrol work with autonomous navigation, positioning, charging, petrol function. The application of in of in freer, of in freer thermal Im imaging technology and intelligent recognition system based on the depth of autonomous learning platform can accurately identify various types of instrument readings and equipment current and voltage heating phenomena. Also, the pipeline inspection robot is operated in a narrow space composed of modular track body and visual identification device. The robot can walk, can walk and work in a pipe with a diameter of 500 to 2,000 millimeters or in a narrow space by means of single or combination. I'm Xinhua reporter live at Ningbo Smart City Expo, the oldest and the most influential and highest level of this kind regarding the smart city development. Another volunteer, Liu Qie, is now playing a white playing on a white piano. So let's just have an interview with Liu Qie. So what are you doing now? Smart Why it is smart? Why it is smart? It uh, can, the, these keys can jump uh, by themselves. This thing is uh, incredible. So, have you played piano before? 
No, I haven't played the piano before. Uh, but now I can play by myself with a smart piano. It's incredible for me. So, yes, we can see on the screen that a teacher is actually teaching and, and the piece of the, 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 the piano is playing themselves. And we are hearing great, great melodies out from there. I'm Xinhua Reporter live at Ningbo Smart City Expo, the oldest, the most influential, and the highest level event of this kind regarding the smart city development. And now we are at Ningbo Made. Let's have a look at this gadget. Is it painting or writing? I just recognize two characters, Chinese characters out there. And it's warm or wobbly. So the Nim Bo Maid is dedicated itself to the cutting edge knowledge research and the application of the manu manufacturing intelligence management system, digital twin, and the intelligence manufacturer um, equipment. It has been constructing a public service platform for the Ningbo intelligence manufacturer industry. And has actual combat at the practical operation and actual effect, effective market-based operation pattern. It has eight United Labs at Creative Center and another name, Achievement Incubators. As we got the education and training, Nimbo made the Nimbo Manufacturing Technology Research Institute creates a talent cultivation, a green channel for intelligence manufacturers. The company have a educational pattern of intelligence manufacture plus education, creative resources integration, as well as a training platform for intelligence manufacture. I think it is. Uh, Almost 
down and let me tear this down and we see what's on the paper. It's a congratulations on the opening of Ningbo Smart City Expo. I'm Jia Chen from Xinhua now live at Ningbo Smart City Expo. See you next time.